I'm Bill Hayes. I play Doug Williams. He's the best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Susan Hayes. I got that name by marrying Bill Hayes. Julie is the character I play. She appeared in the first episode of Days of Our Lives. And after three recastings, I get to play it. I'll do no more of my own personal biography. And now... I am Ken Corday. I played the role of executive producer on Days of Our Lives. I'm Suzanne Rogers, and I do play Maggie Simmons Horton Kiriakis on Days of Our Lives. <laughs> so we're here to answer a few of your burning questions, and away we go. Okay, panel, what one word would you use to describe the loyalty of Days fans? Unique, delicious. Meaningful. Unwavering. There you go, the best. Okay, Bill, Susan, and Suzanne, what one word would you use to describe your time, all of your time on the show? Exciting. Spectacular. My life. That's a tough one to talk. Yeah. My life and our legacy. What would you, a working actor, a Broadway actor, recording artist, 50 years ago, came to California and got a job on Days of Our Lives? What would you have thought if someone had whispered in your ear, this show and your job's gonna last 50 years, buddy? I would have not believed that. Um, before I did my audition scene for Betty Corday and Bill Bell and Wes Kenny. I had never seen a soap. I only knew that uh, soap writing was not good and that soap acting was poor and that uh, the soap story writing was not really good. But how, how wrong I was. I, I suddenly was working with McDonald Carey, Francis Reed, Susan Flannery, Susan Seaforth, Edward Mallory, John Clark. They were all superb actors. The writing was wonderful. I couldn't wait. It was so exciting. I couldn't wait until I opened the script from each day to the next. I'm so happy that I have been able to work on Days of Our Lives. These people, they are so good. Every time I've been on the show, every episode, is, is memorable to me. I just love it. Yeah. What does it mean to you that Julie is still beloved after all these years? It means a lot. It means that the character has grown. She was a bad girl, a confused girl, a girl that had a lot of storyline because she was always in trouble. She was sexually active at a time when America was allowing women to be sexually active. She made some mistakes many but the one thing she did right was marrying you and that's the one thing i've done right in my life <laughs> i wanted to associate with someone whose uh, spirit and morality and charm and humanity was better than mine and i think julie is better now than she was and deserves to be loved because in real life we have 12 grandchildren and 26 great-grandchildren and they mean the world and all to us. So I think I can bring that family love to the character now because it grows out of our family. Suzanne. Yes? What is your favorite memory about winning your Emmy for Best Supporting Actress in 1979? And where do you keep that Emmy? Okay, my favorite memory was um, I was so honored to have a storyline which Susan's mother wrote for me. Being in New York, back to New York, where I started as a rocket, and going down the steps thinking, oh my goodness, don't let me fall, as they called my name. The person in front of me, her name was Susan Brown, and on the stage they said, Susan Rogers, and I, but I was ready to congratulate her, and she turned around and went, that was you! And I ran down the stairs, 
it was it was wonderful. Um, I keep it at home on my mantle in my den, so that as you walk in my house, that's the first thing you see. Yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Ken, how do you think your mom and dad would feel knowing that the show has been on the air for 55 years? I think they'd be flabbergasted. Yet at the same time. I think they would be so extremely proud of this family that has grown from a, a small molecular unit to a grand multi-generational unit. Mm. That's what they would be most proud of because that's what they believed in. They believed in the essence of family. They wanted family directors, they wanted family producers, they wanted family actors, those that knew the value of family, be it child, parent, mm -hmm. grandparent. Mm -hmm. And you see it today in the show, and I think they would, they would be extremely proud of Days of Our Lives in our soon-to-be 55th year. Yeah. Bill, Susan, Suzanne, mm -hmm. you've all played these characters for many decades. How do you balance the person you are in real life with the character you play on Days of Our Lives? I balance it because Doug is basically me and yeah. I'm basically him. Yeah. Um, he, he, he's a good guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. I want to be a good guy. Yeah. It's wonderful to play, yeah. to play Doug for me. When I first started on the show and other soaps that I appeared on, I would listen to the actors saying, I would never say that. Aww. Look at this story. How stupid. How, how stupid. I, I won't say it. I'm not going to do the same. I'm not going to. Well, of course, it, it led to termination. I noticed that. Yes, yes, uh, yes. One. And two, uh, it meant that they were not about to try to make a scene work, to make, it work. To make mm -hmm. a line work, to mm -hmm. make a whole storyline work. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was self-defeating. Mm -hmm. But it's very hard to get away from that. The longer you've been in the, mm -hmm. been in the character, the harder it is to stop yourself from saying, well, I'll just tweak this a little bit, mm -hmm. tweak that a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but you have to. Yeah. Because you are different from the character. Uh, perhaps I'm a little less different since we are a couple and are under, understood as a couple. So Suzanne, <laughs> what is your favorite thing about working with John Aniston, your on-screen husband, Victor? Well, he's very funny. Um, he says things under his breath sometimes that you're not, especially in a scene where you go, I'm not supposed to be laughing for this scene. But um, he's, he's always prepared. I mean, he'll come in and he'll, <clears throat> I'll go to his dressing room and we'll run a scene. And we do do that uh, before COVID. Um, and we go out on the set and he's there. And I, and I work so hard on my scenes and I'm like going, how does he do that? Huh. Anyway, he's lovely. Well, Ken, if you weren't already a part of Days of Our Lives, what storyline have you seen that would have drawn you in. Had I been watching in the early 70s, late 60s, the storyline that would have drawn me in, there were two. The love affair of Doug and Julie was so honest and real. I wanted to watch. I wanted to watch all of that, that they would have put me in. Mm -hmm. At the same time, the love affair between Marty Hansen, Mickey, and Maggie also would have drawn me in. However, asterisk, 10, 20 years later almost, when James E. Riley decided to possess Marlena Evans Ooh. and raise her off a of bed and have green pea soup come out of every part of her, that, yeah, that, that would have pulled me in too. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Yeah, shows my it. generation. Yeah, there you go. <laughs>